Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Every freaking time. Well, I guess not every freaking time. Anyway, while I get the camera back up. Um, okay, guys. Uh, we are going to play Back to the Future, the game. We are back. Josh and I, only Josh and I, unfortunately, because Alex isn't here. Even though after the last video, he clearly was here. But most likely, he won't be able to record anymore. So, And Alex, I forgot to tell you guys this. Alex um, will upload some uh, old, old videos because... We recorded some old videos on uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and he hasn't uploaded them yet. It's been like two weeks since we recorded them, so he's going to start uploading them. So hopefully there's no confusion there. Uh, Alex currently will not be recording anymore. So anyway, guys, uh, that's enough talking out of me. Oh, it's happening. Sorry. Okay, that's enough talking out of me. Hey, let's go into this. I believe the last time we left off, we had to go talk to Kid Tannen. Oh. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. We... Did you finish the story you interviewed before? Yeah, about Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Oh, of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Cool beans. Well, I'm done talking to you. I got a boat. Oh? Where? I need to talk to that kid, Tannen. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Uh... Well, that's a bunch of bullcrap. I'm just walking. Uh, whatever. I'll just I'll shine your shoes. I'm asleep. Um. Yeah. What's your racket? I guess you want to talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Isn't the Soup Kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, but a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. Why does why does he want to deliver so much soup? Did I miss something? I'm looking for Arthur McFly. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Uh... 
Ginger Arthur's boss. You know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. How do you forget where the office is? Oh my gosh. Yeah, isn't that... Wait, wait, when do you... Okay. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Uh, uh, can I, uh, I want that hat, give it to me, I want to buy it. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Kill yourself. Uh, can I, yeah, I want some peanuts. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Yeah, what the hell is that? Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What you do? It's my hat now, baby. Football. They used to call me the streak. Get it out. I got Artie's hat. That's cool. Help Emmett serve papers to Arthur McFly. Well, where's Arthur McFly? I don't know where he is. Um. I need to find Arthur McFly. But I don't know where to find him. I'm so confused. Honestly. I remember this part of the game when I last played it, but it's just it's so blurry to me. Can't really remember. Can we talk to Kid Tannen again, or is that is that a no go? Yeah, that's a no go. Um, let's see what what do I have to do? Earlier in the game, Marty used an object to find its owner. How? Oh, right. I got to use Einstein. I got to use Einstein to find Artie. Okay, cool. Completely forgot about that. Einstein, don't run away from me. I have something for you. Arthur's hat. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Did you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Huh? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. And we're off. Hey, deja vu. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, hey, that kind of looks like Edna's place. Need any help? Um, never mind. What? I do need help. What are you talking about? Uh, let's talk to Einstein. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Okay, let's ring the doorbell. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? Um... Yeah, you're fa we're family, technically. Yeah, well, yeah, we are. Uh, but, yeah, 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 whatever. Let's go. I'm your grand... 
uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. You just closed that window on me, eh? I'd kill you. What now? Hey, you're the one that closed it. It's me again. Please come down. Why? Uh, well, we are the law. We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. Wait, can't they just use that? Like, can't they, like, actually get officials, like, actual police officers, and get him to say, like, what Kid Tannen would do to him and stuff like that? I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Yeah, we got some important information for you. We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. How many times has he said that? Like three. It's annoying. What now? And sorry if in the background you can hear stuff. It's me again. Please come down. Why? Like you can feel hear footsteps. I'm sorry for that, but anyway, let's go. We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the account weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No. Right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. Dude, can you just stop saying that? Say like, oh, bye. It's like, screw off or something like that. Sorry, some other time. What now? I mock you. It's me again. Please come down. Why? <sighs> I've already done all this. We've got something for you. It's a sub subscription to the account weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No. Right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Crap, maybe I gotta show him the subpoena or something. Or I gotta make him come down here somehow. How would I do that? Huh. Let's try something. What now? Okay, hopefully this works. If it doesn't work, I have another solution. You got the subpoena. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Well, that didn't work. Okay, bye. I always hated you. Yeah, we're just leaving you there. You can go stew in your soups, or however that saying goes. Crap, got an inch. Okay, Kitan is there. Maybe I can do something. Or something. Is, isn't he mad at me? Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. Run, Marty.
Einstein, don't watch. Bite one of them. They're just chasing me and they're doing absolutely nothing. Wow. Wow. Yeah, just, you know, just... Oh. Clever girl. Gosh. It's, oh my gosh. from there, you son of a bitch! Hey, that's a bad word. Right the... What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Don't make me angry, schmucko! Crap. Get down here and face the music! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. I think you they can't are. Get away that I don't easy. think they're in a talkative Nobody mood right now. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and let... Can I use something to get them away? Like, seriously, I don't, I don't want you here. To tell about it. You're dead meat, twerp. Einstein, help! Get away, get out of crazy mutt. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scream. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. Einstein's so good. Good job, Einstein. I'd give you a treat, but I don't have any. Okay, time to head back to Arthur McFly and try to get him down from that place. With the voice of Kit Tannen. Because we got a recording of it now, baby. That's going, Doc. I gotta tell you, out of the two docs, I, I like the old one still. I like the old one. I like better, still. What now? Time to use the recording, baby. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid. Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's Kid? Finally, we can give you the subpoena. It's friggin'. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Where's the paper? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into. Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I going to do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That was easy. I hate doing stuff like that, but I won't have too much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. Alright, one down, two to go. Wait, <laughs> oh my god. No, one down, one to go. Because uh, we just delivered the subpoena, he's going to the court, and... Um, now we gotta get the alcohol for Doc as fuel, which is weird, because since when have you ever, s I don't know, I don't know if you'd ever think of alcohol to be fuel, I don't know, maybe, possibly, probably, don't know. Anyway guys, I am gonna have to leave the video here, uh, we, we covered a lot of ground this video, uh, this recording session, and, but I'm gonna have to leave the episode here, let me just save... Good, cool beans. And anyway, guys, I have to leave the episode here. Meanwhile, everybody stay cool, live large, and we will see you all later.